what I, when I try and describe it to people, I often say we represent the best of Australian made in wood. And, and that's what we're always trying to do. We're, we're trying to be the best specialist wood gallery in the world. We have amazing furniture, beautifully handcrafted giftware, and local artists, fine artists. The Bungadal Woodworks Gallery was opened up 30 years ago by my father across the road. He opened it up as a, as a place to sit and sell his, his woodwork. The Bungadal Woodworks Gallery has a very unique um, set of products. A, everything is different, everything is handmade, uh, made of different timbers, a variety of timbers by over 250 makers. So setting up an e-commerce website posed a lot of challenges, like supply, descriptions. Um, it wasn't like anything was the same. So it took a lot of maintenance and we had to be very careful about what we were going to put online. And we had to ask ourselves the question if we would gain a return on investment. In late 2011, we decided to do a proof of concept and set up a test e-commerce website um, using a out-of-the-box service system just to see if our customers would buy anything online. So that's been running now for six months and sales have been steady, not dramatic, but we, we've now proven to ourselves that we, people are willing to buy these unique products online. And, and, poss and possibly the most powerful marketing tool of our website and our digital online presence is our e-newsletters. It was quite surprising how well they worked for us. Um, in late 2010, we decided to try and save some money on our printing costs and move to an e-newsletter e e system and not print and not mail out our quarterly newsletters. E-newsletters, they've been around ever since the internet's been around and it's a pretty lo-fi way of connecting with customers. But the interesting thing with us is it is definitely our most powerful way. People really respond to it. We can create a newsletter in a couple of days. We can send it out whenever we want. We can schedule it to come out on Tuesdays at 11 a.m. And we can get a whole range of statistics from it about how many people click through, how many people unsubscribe, how many people share it on Facebook or Twitter. And it's just mind boggling to see the impact that this very simple low-fi technology has in with connecting with our customers. As a small business, we have to be a bit wary of where we invest our time in when it comes to an online presence. Um, and obviously there's been a lot of hype about Facebook and Twitter and various other social media platforms. And so we were sort of waiting. waiting. We were sort of late to the party on, on that. Um, mainly because we just we weren't sure if it was going to work for us on a business point of view. So about 12 months ago, we, we finally set up our Facebook profile page. I think it's a nice way for us to connect with people, but we haven't yet seen any result in sales. That said, we're pretty excited about Pinterest. Pinterest is a really nice, interesting um, new social media that's gained a lot of press recently. And yeah, I think it's very uniquely suited to our business. Um, and Pinterest essentially is all about sharing images about with your friends and your family and your social network that are really beautiful. And I think we have an abundance of beautiful products and images. The Cafe Woodworks is a business next door that is, even though it is a separate business from the Bungalow Woodworks Gallery, it's a very symbiotic relationship that we have. And so we have a cafe section on our website where we show their menu and promote their events. In terms of resources that we put towards our digital online presence, it probably averages out at about two full-time days a week. Um, I primarily do the majority of the work updating the new sections, putting new products online, Facebook posts and the like. However, other staff will pitch in and wherever and however necessary. And by being willing to get in there and just have a go and try our best and, and punch above our weight, we've learnt a lot of things and I think we're stronger for it. So I guess the big, we've made many mistakes, but I, I would be, I'd do them all again because we wouldn't have such a good online presence without making those mistakes. Mm -hmm.